Hey everybody, John Abigad here. Uh, hello and greetings from uh, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Alright, we're going to do some... I don't know, I haven't done this in a while. Let's call it John Good cooking. Alright, so what we have here is about a pound and so of shrimp. Uh, about a pound and a half of beef. And then... Uh, about a pound and a half of chicken breast. Over here we got some bell peppers, onions, chopped garlic, sliced uh, ginger root, and my very own secret sauce, which I will not reveal to what it is. Uh, what else we got? I think I'm forgetting something. I don't know. Whatever it is. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. So, I thought I would try to cook the beef first. Because it's the one that takes the longest to cook. Let's put some oil in there, not too much. <coughs> what I'm afraid of is uh, if once I put this on there, it's probably going to get all, you know, watery, so... We'll be right back. Let's wait till this. Uh... Today, by the way, is Saturday. Local time is 7.43.44. And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I take AJ back to Minnesota. For the meantime, thought I'd do some cooking. Uh, yeah, be right back. See the oil is separating. I don't know. I think that's a good sign that it's already warm. Who knows? I'm just winging it, man. I'm just winging it. This is the biggest mama has, biggest pot. See, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm gonna have to cook this until the water drains. But it's beef, so. I like a little pink in my beef. Pure sea salt. Let's try it. What's in here? Garlic salt, why not? What else we got in here? Pepper, oh yeah.
Normally I would put a lot, but the girls can't handle spicy food, so... You know one thing I've also found out about myself? In my younger days, I like spicy food not because I like spicy food. <laughs> I like spicy food because I wanted to be tough. You know what I mean? The hotter it got, the tougher it got. So, but you know. That you're, as old, the older you get, you don't need to prove you're tough. <laughs> In fact, you don't, you can't prove you're tough anymore. So, yeah. I got nothing to, no power left to prove that I'm tough. <sighs> Let's dry that off a little bit and we'll be right back. All right, here we go. It's a little bit drier now. You know what, what I'm going to do? I think this is what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, why not? I was going to put the chicken in there, but I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to do the same process with the chicken. I'm going to fry it until it, uh, it drains out. Oh, Mama's not going to be happy, Miki. Me missing her kitchen. Whew. All right, so. Here comes the chicken. I decided to put some uh, a lid to it because I want that chicken to be thoroughly uh, cooked. Then I'll probably just drain the water out of it. Local time is 7.59. Alright, what else we got over here? By the way, this is Norge. Jackie. AJ, AJ, Jackie, Michelle, Mr. Tampers, the Inspector General. Ooh, look at all this food. We got some pies, leftover uh, turkey. Bumblebee, lemon and pepper. Hey, why not? What is it? Seafood vodka. Oh, this is tuna. <laughs> Okie dokie. Mandarin chicken teriyaki.
and it's coming along pretty good. Our chicken is done. I don't know, I get this feeling that uh, I get this feeling a little bit of a Soy sauce would make it look put some color to it, you know what I mean? There. Not so pale. <laughs> What do you know? Alright, let's put that over here. from experience that uh, shrimp gives out a lot of water so and besides this shrimp is already pretty cooked so, you know what I think I'm doing right now is just draining the water out of it. Let's put some Maggie. Not too much. Not too much. I have enough room. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, what is what's the plan? What's the plan? I'll be right back.
Hmm. That's what you call fresh shrimp. It jumps off. So now, what we need to do Hey Jacqueline. So let's do the onions first. A little bit of ginger root. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that for a couple minutes because. I know that uh, garlic burns real fast. Oh, these were, these were loaded onions still. It made me cry. It made me cry. They were loaded. Let's just give that a little bit of a, some time there. Anyway. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done this, so if it comes out, it comes out. If not, well, we're still going to eat it. As Thomas Edison said, there are no failures. We just found out what doesn't work. Oh, that smells good. All right, let's see, what else is there? Do you think it's time? I think it's time. I think it's time. Hi Jaja. You wanna say hi to the people on YouTube? Okay, what else is next do you think? Time to load the beef, I think.
I wish I had a big walk. That would be nice. Put the chicken in there, why not? Ooh, we're getting a little bit full there, buddy. We're going to have us a mountain of food here in a little bit. You think I should put some butter in there? Nah, I don't know. Maybe. Just a little bit. Whatever we got in here. Yeah. This weekend, me and the family were kind of uh, ragging on Mama. Yeah. She's a prepper. Mama is a prepper because she's got everything. She's ready for the, uh, you know, the apocalypse. So what do you think is next? Yeah, let's put the shrimp in there. Oh boy, oh boy. We're gonna be overflowing here pretty soon, buddy.
I don't know. I think it's time to put the sauce in there, right? Why not? A secret sauce, which I will take to my grave. Ooh, that's pretty strong stuff. And for the last load, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Note to self, buy a bigger pot or skillet or whatever.
What a mess. What a mess, what a mess, what a mess. All right, well, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, it's been kind of simmering in there for 15 minutes or so. I think that uh, it's safe to say that all that are intended to be cooked is cooked. All the uh, I think it's safe to say everything that's was alive is now dead. <laughs> well, voila. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Girls, since Tampers is not here anymore, and I don't have my inspector, you guys will have to do. Come on, girls. I need a volunteer. Well, somebody has to protect me. Oh, they, they're not going to want to be on camera, so we'll be right back. So, Jojo, what do you think? It's good. Huh? It's okay. It's good. Was it a scale of 1 to 10? What is it? Um, it's not mom, but it's okay. Okay, that's just the way it is. So, 1 to 10, 10 being perfect. And it's 8. 8? Yeah. Was it spicy? Was it, how do you describe it? A fajita? I don't know. A fajita? It tastes like a fajita? It, that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know what I was making. Anyway, you guys, I can't get these girls to cooperate. So, that's it. I don't know. We'll wait for Mama. Peace. Hey everybody, Johnny Vigad here. Uh, we got a little bit of a message here with Long Haul Larry. As you can see, it says, please, as you doing videos, remind people that ADO is still taking applications right now. Tell the people we have a new applicants. Now we are going through, but if people want a chance to work here, they better apply quick. Also tell them Long Haul Larry will be the one interviewing them. Plus put the link above on the every description also to the beginning of your videos. Here we go. Click that. It takes you to this website right here. Check it out. Pretty simple self-explanatory stuff. So for those of you who are interested in looking for a new home, a family, uh, a very small company, no complications, no politics, uh, just check it out, cdlsuite.com. So there you go. Okie dokie. No, I will put the link on the description box below. Check it out. Peace.